This tutorial video will demonstrate how to complete the two sample t-test example in Minitab. For detailed information on how to interpret the results, please refer to the Lean Six Sigma and Minitab pocket guide. The Minitab data file for this example is called 2 sample t shippingmpj The worksheet in this file contains all of the data that will be used for this example, presented in several different formats. The data represents the number of days taken for ships to complete a particular voyage using old and new routes. Column 2 contains all of the data stacked in one column with the route information alongside in column 3. Columns 6 and 7 contain the same data unstacked into two columns, one for the new route and one for the old. And finally, columns 9 through 11 contain just the summary statistics of the data for the new and old routes which can be used to complete a two-sample t-test. In order to complete the two-sample t-test, go to Stat, Basic Statistics, Two-Sample T. Firstly, ensure that the Samples in one column option is chosen, and then enter the column containing the data here, in this case column 2. Secondly, enter column 3 here because this column contains the route information, new or old, associated with the data in column 2. If you have not already graphed your data, the Graph button provides the option to create an individual value plot or box plot of your data. Select both for this example and then click OK. The options settings should be left at their default levels, but can be used to change the confidence level, test difference and alternative hypothesis for your test. Click both OK boxes to complete the two sample t-test. The graphical output includes the two charts that were selected previously, an individual value plot and a box plot. Because these charts were created using Minitab's two-sample t-test function, they both have the average of each subgroup marked as a cross circle connected by a line to highlight the difference in average that is being tested. The session window contains the numerical output from the analysis. The interpretation of this output is explained in detail in the pocket guide, but the key output for interpretation is the p-value shown here. In this example, the p-value is 0.03, which is below 0.05, and therefore suggests that we can be at least 95% confident that there is some difference in the averages of the two samples tested. That completes this Minitab tutorial video for a two-sample t-test.